Ken came by way of Seattle, and then he started in Billings. And I will give you the rest of the time to tell a little bit about your journey here and your mission. Take it away, Ken. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, good afternoon, friends. Um, it's extremely humbled for Father Honard to be here. Thank you for your invitation. Thank you for your reception. My name is Ken Kome. I come from Kenya, born and brought up in Kenya, went to school in Kenya, and did a few other courses in the UK. Um, I'm a father of two girls, 19 and 14. I'm married to one very beautiful, powerful, wonderful wife. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <In the same laughs> faith. Remember that introduction, Charles. <laughs> uh, and I wish to bring their greetings to you. I also wish to bring you greetings from my bishop, Bishop Joseki Pungu, who is almost leaving office after serving for many years. Mm. I also wish to bring you lots of greetings from the pastors that you really dearly love in Eastern Angora no Conference, that for over 23 years or so, you have been supporting with salaries. I also wish to bring you greetings from the conference office staff, that uh, those are various directors who are programs and projects that you support. Uh, from Angora, I will bring you this message, turning things around. Uh, before I get into the crux of the matter, permit me to give you a brief history of this country, Angola. Angola was uh, colonized by the Portuguese and is found in the southeast coast of Africa. And I want to give you, first of all, the background before I go into, mm -hmm. into the presentation. Uh, was ruled by Portuguese for over 500 years. Mm. And at the same time, the Methodist Church or the United Methodist Church sent many missionaries in Eastern Angola, in Angola as a country, who helped establish many institutions, <coughs> schools, <coughs> hospitals, uh, churches, and semi uh, seminaries. And in 1961, that is when the country started struggle for independence. Uh, when, and then they attained the independence in 1975. However, before that settling, the same same 1975, the country went into a terrible civil war that was the culmination of destruction of properties, destruction of human lives, name it. And you know what? Uh, the schools that were established by the missionaries, the Methodist missionaries, uh, they set up one school in a place called Keso. Keso is in Eastern Angola no Conference where they bought land over 10,000 acres of land. And they bought off those communities as a way of trying, not really getting them out of the land, but as a way of reaching them, to evangelize to them, to give them education, to give them medical, to help them also take care of their nutrition issues. And agitation for independence started now in that school. And the first president of the country is a child of United Methodist Church who went to school in that who went to school in that mission school. And was a son of a, a pastor, our United Methodist pastor. However, and now when he became the president of the country, of course, many leaders, elites in the country, are our own sons and daughters of the United Methodist Church. And so, other political parties, other people felt or envied them. I would say greed set in. That was not the culmination of the civil war. And the main target were our institutions that were totally flattened, our Methodist members and pastors were killed, others got displaced, ran into the neighboring countries, others went into the cities as, as a high peace. That is just a synopsis of where we are coming from. See, 40, 40 years of war. Mm -hmm. So those were many generations that were lost, and I want to say that you are very grateful because you are part and parcel of people that are helping in reconstructing the church, and the society as it were. Let's get now into the presentation of the day. 